And at the end of this lesson, I will be collecting your posters. The winning poster will be announced at the fancy dress party tomorrow night. Oh, oh, uh, uh, what's the prize, miss? No prizes. No prizes? Some things we do for honour, Henry. The honour of attending our school. Ha! This school's more like a prison. <laughs> right, class. Please roll up your posters. Margaret and Susan will collect them. There. All finished. <laughs> That's rude. Is it? Oh, thank you, Henry. Miss Battleaxe is going to love this. Give me that back. <laughs> as if. Yeah, as if. Thank you both. Please go with Miss Lovely to Miss Oddboard's office. Yes, Miss. Phew, that was close. Miss Battleaxe would have gone mad. Yeah, now Miss Oddboard can go mad instead. Uh-oh. You're right. What are you going as, Al? Oh, a ballerina? Well. Hmm. What do you think Miss Oddbud will do? Who knows? We don't even know where the posters are. We've got a bit of time to find out. Time to find out what? Where the posters are. Ralph! Oh, sorry. <laughs> You'll be sorry, Henry. Yes, yeah, sorry, Henry. Go away, Margaret. We don't need you. Um, I think you do. What makes you think that? Because I know where the posters are and I have a plan. She might, you know. OK, Margaret. What's the deal? Yeah, the deal. Oh, be quiet, Susan. This is woman's work. Now, listen. The posters will be taken out of the safe tomorrow night at the fancy dress party so that they can choose a winner. That's when we'll strike. And we're going to need some help. Does this party last? Cool girl, Henry! <gasps> oh! You're late! Peter had to change costume five times. <gasps> Everyone's in position. Such a nice turnout, don't you think? Bert's on alert. And Ralph is ready. Tell me. Tell you what? Who you're in love with. I told you I'm not in love with anyone. Love sought is good, but given unsought is better. What's that meant to mean? Search me. Come on, Henry, race you to lunch. <laughs> watch where you're going, slug snot. You watch where you're going, beetle brain. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You're in love with that phone. You are. I said you're in love with your phone. What's not to love? It tells me everything I need to know. Oh, yeah? My what? Like the time, like my dad's phone number and the number of the Boodle Poodle Parlour. Like whether I'm happy or sad or just plain moody. It even tells me what the weather's like. It's raining. Yeah, I know it's raining. My phone told me so. Hello. My name is Margaret Millicent Mordita Smythe and I love me just Ok, 
again. Thank you, kind lady. Thank you for this food that we're forced to eat. Because an army marches on its stomach and you want to keep us weak and defenseless. We're nothing but pawns in your merciless game. Those are creatures who... Any chance of some chips? Don't let us know then. Training? Training for what? Training to eat school dinners. <laughs> well, in that case... Uh, thank you, I think. You like my speech, Henry? No, oh, Ralph. I loved it! <laughs> Got it from one of my dad's books. He's got the look of love. As he now. What are you two talking about? Reckon you'll be needing some of these then, Henry. When I ask for more chips, I mean I would like more chips. Sometimes I think she should be called Margaret the Magnificent. Oh, you are joking. I don't know. Will I? Yes, yes, I am joking, Henry. Good, because if I thought for one minute... No, Henry, don't think for one minute. Now, there's a difference between loving something and being in love with someone. Yes, there is. Take carrots, for example. I love carrots, but I'm not in love with them. Well, yeah, I love being horrid. Mum, Henry's putting his beans on his fork. Mum, Henry's lifting up his fork. Mum, Henry's looking. I don't know the secret. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to spy on him too. Why don't you have a picnic with Bunny in your bedroom? I've got so much to do down here. I've got an idea, Bunny. Let's have a picnic. Hmm, this might take longer than I thought. This is much better, isn't it, Bunny? Would you like a fairy cake? There you are, Bunny. Now, shall I tell you a story? Once upon a time... Oh! oh. And they all lived happily ever after. Guess what, Bunny? I've got a secret. Yes! Well, it's not really my secret. It's Mum and Dad's secret. Yes! Isn't that exciting? <laughs> no! Whoa! Henry, what are you doing under my bed? Yes! Operation Espionage is go! So, it's all happening Saturday afternoon. Yes, we've got a new CD. What are you up to, Henry? Clothes peg? So, it's on Saturday and they've got a CD for it. Hmm. I'm just off to the shops to get, uh, the things we need. Aha! Operation Espionage is back in action. Oh no, not cucumber! 
but sandwiches? Ugh. Could be another clue. Party hats? Party hats! A new CD? Cucumber sandwiches? Oh, they must be planning a party on Saturday! And they don't want me to know about it, so if they're keeping it a secret, it must be for me! Oh, I wonder if they've got me any presents! Unless I can get somebody to help me. So who told you there was treasure buried here? Everyone knows that, don't they, Bert? I don't know. We're going to be rich. <laughs> I'm going to buy every chocolate bar in the world. I want my own gym. Anything? I don't know. Henry! There's something down here. I'm going to buy a yacht too. It's one of these time capsules. Huh? There's nothing in it. No treasure? No, nothing. Come on, let's keep digging. any treasure. How come these are all empty? I don't know. I'm going home. Thanks for nothing, Henry. They were all empty. I want my bunny. Where can he be? Maybe he's been kidnapped by aliens. <laughs> I've got to find Bunny or else... I've got to find out what happened to those time capsules! Eureka! That's it! Yes! I, Henry, have a plan! This is a disgrace! If any of you know anything about the identity of these hooligans, please come forward! I bet they were boys! Miss? Henry, no! Miss, we mustn't give in to these hooligans. Henry? Uh, no, quite. We should bury another capsule to show that we won't be beaten. Excellent idea, Henry. Uh, come on, children. What's your game? Henry... Have a gold star. Oh, thank you. Maybe the children of the future would like it. How unusually unselfish, Henry. Well done. Right, let's get this capsule buried. Yes, Al, you're good at digging. Shh. Uh, I mean, you probably are. Now we wait. It's so easy. people to eat first, uh, like Miss Battleaxe and Soggy Sid and that old lady who always lets a dog wee on my leg and uh... And Peter! Plant! I command you, eat perfect Peter! Oh, there you are, Henry. Uh, yes? Who are you talking to? Your plant! It's eaten Margaret and now it's going to eat you! My plant? 
<laughs> you are funny, Henry. Plants don't eat people. I must be dreaming. Oh, feeding time. <laughs> I'm off to watch TV. There you are, little planty wanty. Lovely, nutritious food. What a silly Billy. Eating people. I blame the television programmes he watches. But you've just been fed. Ah! Eat radioactive fist, Miss Grant. <laughs> Taste the full force of my radioactive bile. Monster! Yeah, get him, you shabbat! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> I have one final surprise for you! You plotted your last plot, Dr. Fowl. Get ready for my Burp of Doom! But what's this lurking behind, Mutant Max? What dreadful horror has Dr. Fowl cooked up this time? Mutant Max primes his gauntlets of goo, unsuspecting as the evil horror creeps up behind him. Closer, and closer, and closer. Look behind you, Mutant Max! Behind you! Could this be the end of Mutant Max? Oh, that's stupid! There's no way Max wouldn't have seen that! Stop it all, you like Mutant Max! You'll never see! That's not my stomach! Present Henry. You did? Yes. I've bought you. Ta da! A plant of your own. No! It's so easy being me. I'm Horrid Henry. <coughs> we could get a babysitter. No! We're going out as a family. <coughs> He's got the car keys again. Henry, I'm coming in there. <laughs> Henry, no, not the toilet. He wouldn't, would he? <sighs> you didn't see that, Peter. Right, let's go. I can't wait. A chance to try new things! I love food. Well, um, all except beetroot. I love food too. Well, all except squid. Oh, and Dad doesn't like tomatoes. Well, I don't like anything except whoppa whoppy burgers. I'm not going! That's that! All right, Henry, here's the deal. You come along, behave yourself, and eat everything on your plate, and I'll give you two pounds. Just for shoving a few mouthfuls of disgusting food in my mouth. Normally I have to do that for free. How about three pounds? Don't push it, Henry. Okay, deal. What's my reward for being good? Goodness is its own reward, Peter, darling. Huh? It's very nice of Aunt Ruby to invite us to dinner at Restaurant La Poche. It won't be as good as Whopper Whoopi. They have real food. And your cousin Steve will be there too, boys. Oh, no! Not stuck up Steve! Steve's my favourite cousin. Where shall I park? 
We park, sir, unless you happen to be the chauffeur. Darlings! Oh, Ruby! New car, Ruby? Oh, I'm not sure, darling. All our limos look the same to me. <laughs> What make is your car, Henry? Rust Bucket 2000? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, look at that! Yes, isn't it fabulous? It's carved completely out of ice. I didn't think you'd be coming, Henry. I'm getting two pounds for eating everything on my plate. And I'm not getting anything because goodness is its own reward. Huh? Be, Be quiet, worm! It's so easy being me. I'm Welcome to our school, Your Majesty. My name is <laughs> Worm. Peter. Bow. Okay. Answer your question. Walk away. Uh when I'm king! <laughs> Henry, ask me a question, please. OK. So, little boy, why are you so smelly? <laughs> why don't you ask her a question instead? Why? Oh! It's just the sort of thing that never happens to us. It's always other people, but now it has. Oh, I know. Mum, how many TVs has the Queen got? Yes, it isn't as exciting. Peter's going to meet the Queen. <gasps> What's all the fuss about? I bet the Queen's not making a big deal out of meeting Peter. Huh? I'd die of embarrassment if my dad put up a flagpole in front of our house, Henry. It's not a flagpole. It's just a pole. Get the Union Jack from the cellar, please, Henry. <laughs> it's a flagpole. We're going to have a proper flag-raising ceremony to celebrate Peter meeting the Queen. <gasps> this is so embarrassing. Flag, Henry, now. You're doing it all wrong. No, I'm not. OK, fine. Make a fool of yourself. Well, how do they do it then? Are you sure this is how you greet the Queen? Yes! And if you get it wrong, they'll lock you up in the tower. No! And then they'll sharpen their huge axe and... <laughs> Don't be horrid, Henry. Where's my flag, Henry? Just getting it, Dad. Dad, is it true that they chop off people's heads in the tower? Yes, it is. That's why they call it the Bloody Tower. Uh... Now look what you've done. See?